E lecture. This is Kulakarni, English teacher at the Laksha Institute of Technology and Sciences. In this E lecture, I deal with phonetics. Let us know what is phonetics. I do. I deal with the introduction of the phonetics and its classification. Phonetics is the scientific study of speech sounds and it is one of the fundamental branch of linguistics. In English, there is no proper correspondence between its pronunciation and written form. That is one of the reasons why did uh, phoneticians did introduce international phonetic alphabets at the end of the 18th century. Now let us go to study the classification of the phonetics. As you all do know that in English there are 26 alphabets. These 26 alphabets do produce 44 sounds. If we do categorize these 44 sounds, they, it is categorized into two categories. One is vowels and the second one is consonants. Vowels are 20, consonants are 24. The main difference between vowels and consonants is while we articulate vowels, air flows very freely. In the case of consonants, it is stopped for a while in the mouth cavity or nasal cavity. Okay, let us go to study vowels in deep and depth. If we categorize it far further, it could be uh, categorized into two categories. One is pure vowels or it is even called monophthongs and another one is diphthongs or glides. As for the articulation places concern of the pure vowels, it could be further divided into three categories. That is one front vowels, they are four, and the central vowels and back vowels. Front vowels are four, they are E. That, that E sound could be found in the word eat. E could be found in the word in. A could be found in the word it, a could be found in the word cat. Okay, let us go to study the central vowels. There are three central vowels. They are, uh, it is called even the shortest vowel that could be found in the word about, a uh, in the word cat, a uh, could be found in the word girl or shirt. Back vowels are five. They are a uh, could be found in the word car. A uh, could be found in the word cart. A uh, could be found in the word ka thought. U uh, could be found in the word put. U uh, could be found in the word cool. So when we do articulate front vowels, our lips are stretched while we articulate the central uh, back vowels, lips gets rounding position. Now let us study the diphthongs. As I did tell you earlier, there are eight diphthongs. They are A. I do articulate each diphthong twice. A could be found in the word play. I. I could be found in the word white. I, I could be found in the word boy, ear could be found in the word ear, air, air could be found in the word a i r air, ua could be found in the word p o o r poor, al could be found in the word f o u l fall, al could be found in the word now. So this is one of the introductory, this is, these are the vowels. Now let us move for the another section in the phonetics that is consonants. As I did tell you earlier, there are 24 consonants. Uh, the details about the consonants could be studied in the next lecture. So let me briefly introduce all those 24 consonants. They are th, b, t, d, k, G, Ch, J, Th, Dh, M, N, N, Y, R, L, V, V, Sh, S, Z, J, H, F. These four do confuse a lot. I do repeat all those four sounds again. Listen it very carefully. Sh, S, Za, ja. These are the 24 consonants. These could be found. P could be found in the word P I T. Pit, ba could be found in book. Ta 
tin, da in dog, ka in king, ga in good, cha in chain, ja in jag, ta in tin, da in den, ma in moon, na in nine, m in ring, ya in yes, ra in rat, la in lion, va in van, wa in what, sha in ship, sa in sink, za in zoo, ja in pleasure, ha in hell, fa in fan. These are the 24 consonants. So in this E lecture, we did study the phonetics. For more details, we would study in the next E lecture. Thank you.